Hello guys, it is Jacob here. In this video I would like to go over Fact Spirits, at least the three or two plus one basic setups that everyone should be using throughout your journey and leveling. And before I get into the setups, I'd like to show you where to actually get the Pact Spirits and which one you should go first. You should go for first. So to get Pact Spirits, you go to Boons. You have to level up to a certain level before Pact Spirit window opens for you. And then you can go to Boons. <clears throat> and there will be a mess here. Like all these things. Some of them cost money, some of them don't. Uh, what you want to look for is... Uh, you will have one page here that will give you guaranteed legendary pack spirit after like 10 or 20 draws and that one has this pack spirit on the picture I already did it so you want to take that off first and the thingies that you are buying them for <coughs> in that window should cost these jagged primocrist just make sure that you are buying them for jagged primocrist which is the free currency that we are getting from events and <clears throat> from free battle pass leveling and so and so on. So you are getting Jacket Primocrist almost all the time in Torchlight Infinite. So if you don't want to spend money on Pact Spirit, which I advise you not to, you don't have to. Uh, okay, so wh when you find the page with uh, Anthem on the picture, just make sure that you get all of the draws there and you get your first legendary pack spirit. If you get very lucky, you will get Anthem as your first legendary pack spirit and you are good to go for the rest of your plane of Torchlight Infinite. If you don't get her, you can get her later for now, for SS4, there is this window here with featured Pact Spirits where you can choose one Pact Spirit that you want to get. You just click the Bio Raid button here on this specific page and you can choose the Pact Spirit of uh, that you want to get <coughs> and you will eventually get her. I already have her, so I will choose a different one. I like the visuals of this one, don't really care what they give. So I will choose that just for demonstration. And as you can see here, it requires these like Pact Spirit Crystal Battle Points. If you don't have any, you can still click Draw and it will tell you that you can redeem one with Jagged Primocrist. That's that's what you want to always check, that those are Jagged Primocrists. And you will just keep clicking single draw until you draw your Anthem. Or, yeah, you can go for 10 draws because these cost 80 Jagged Primocrist. Normally they cost 100, so this is great value here. So you just click this. If you have the Jagged Primocrists and you can draw your 10 pack Spirits here. I draw, noth I, I draw nothing. I'm good with that. No, no one cares really. So yeah, you just keep going until you get your Anthem. You really need to get your Anthem and I will show you why later. Uh, okay, so that's where you get them. Now, for the setups, the, as a free-to-play player, you will have three presets here. Three, like, free, free. <laughs> and you can get more with Battle Pass, but yeah, we will not go through that. You will get free, you, you will get free, free presets, and we, you will use them pretty much all of them during your leveling and this is how I use them they gave us three presets 
and you can switch them quickly like this and you can even set up the hotkeys for it in the control settings down here where is F1, 2 and 3 so that that's how I have it set up and for the setups this window here so the first setup that I will go through is for EXP gain early on and that would be like this you want to look for pack spirit with survival attack and you want to look for the ones that have uh, exp bonus <coughs> in their uh, like description and you want to find three of those if you don't have three of those just get as many as possible i have two of the epic ones with XP bonus there are three of them in total actually yeah three epic there are multiple blue ones and there are like two or three uh, legendary ones with XP bonus yeah three of them with legendary bonus here legendary ones so you want to get as many of XP bonus like spirits of as possible at least the free ones and you want to get the purple ones I don't have them yet so what this setup gives me is 30% XP earned plus 30% XP earned and that's because of these green nodes so it's plus 3 for, uh, for each small one and plus 6 for the large ones that's it uh, once you get higher level you will get into maps and you will what you need to notice in maps when you want to level up is the map base XP gain if I get to a map if it lets me let's go to some random map here you will notice that I have I have level 100 already the, the number here will start to go lower at around level 95 96 uh, from 100 to lo lower numbers what you want to achieve here and I have prepared a little calculation for that uh, you want to make sure that your XP gain is like at least 100% or make sure closest closer to 100% the closest to 100% as you can get it and how you do that is with the second pack spirit reset that I will show you <coughs> which looks like this so that was XP early now XP late after level 95 96 97 depending on what level of maps you are doing you will get to this setup and this setup is the reason you want to get Anthem because she is the only third pack spirit that provides you with these stats XP balance so for the late game XP gain you want to go for uh, XP balance so you will again search for survival and you will look, look for the pack spirits that provide you with XP balance mods what these mods do is they <coughs> decrease the XP fall off which is caused by the difference between your level and the monster levels in the map so as you can see here suddenly with the second with my second setup the XP gain went from 14% to 100 We're still not fighting. Oh, from 14% to 100% that's what the pack spirits do so now I'm getting 100% XP from the monsters in the map <coughs> to, 
to get to 100%, like I have minus 100% XP fall off, you need to get one purple and anthem basically, plus one other XP balance pet. So if we go through the pets here, <clears throat> this is the XP balance author, anthem and the purple eye. And there are actually no other bonus, bonus, protection, bonus, bonus. Yeah, those are the only three that provide XP balance mods. <clears throat> if you don't have Anthem yet, just use an XP bonus one instead of her. You will go a little bit slower or you will get XP a little bit slower. But those two will still give you a big advantage. We can try to swap it here actually. Just compact. Now I have 60% XP fall off and 20% XP earned. I'm at, I'm at 65% XP efficiency, but I'm getting 12% bonus XP. So that's around 70% I guess. So still faster than 14% effectiveness. That's what, what you want to achieve here. Once you get Anthem, you get to 100% and that's what you are aiming for. And the third setup would be any damage setup that you of the damage that you use this character used like attack damage so i went with attack pack spirits and multi strike like attack damage attack damage deal double at, attack skills deal double damage attack speed attack damage yeah you get it <clears throat> and you want to be setting this up just in case that you struggle with some of the bosses in during your story and during your leveling because you can go through the entire map with your XP pets and then add the boss once you get to the boss you can just if you got it set up like me with the key settings here F1, F2 and F3 you can just tap F3 switch to damage packed spirits and delete the boss quicker so that's why you want these three once you get to high enough level, like level 96, you can even drop the XP early setup and start slotting in uh, some drop and or mechanics uh, packed spirits. But if I get back to the XP gain for now, uh, I've prepared this like little calculation here of when you should swap to XP balance pets actually if you have only like if you have all three of the XP gain pets <coughs> the, the left number on the calculation is the map effectiveness uh, the, this one the 14% one and the right one is how many percent or, yeah how many percent of xp bonus you have from your uh, xp bonus packed spirits so as you can see here when you get to level 94 or 95 the number starts dropping from the XP effectiveness number starts dropping from 100 to lower. And if you have my setup where I have plus 30% XP earned, I can keep using my XP bonus packed spirits until the number drops to around 77%. When it drops under 77%, it is better for me to start swapping in the XP balance pets, basically. Maybe not all of them, but you can start swapping them one by one. So what I would try to do once I got to level uh, to high enough level to drop to 
around 76% effectiveness on this map base XP gain. I would try to swap in one XP balance pet and see how it moves this number up and it would move this down 6% to 1.24 so yeah the calculation would change then but this number would be higher so yeah that's what you are trying to achieve trying to get as much XP gain during your maps as possible or you can just go with the rule of thumb and once you get above level 96 just swap in all your, your XP balance pets and go with them that's that's I, how I was doing it in the last six seasons <clears throat> and for the for the last setup or for the damage setup you just use whatever you you deal damage with and the last setup the drop one would be you go to drop and the generic one would be I like to use Happy Chunky on the right side because that's the one that increases the drop quantity of. Uh, yeah, he increases drop quantity basically on two nodes, and on the rest of the nodes, he increases flame fuel drop quantity. That's why I, do, I like to use Happy Chunky here. And I have actually a second one that increases the drop quantity of. Uh, uh, flame fuels and that's this one yeah so I use them like this and since I don't have the third the third uh, uh, the third one here or the bottom part of the pack spirit tree is always drop quantity so you can keep it like this and simply use any Pact Spirit of level 6 that increases your stats somehow. Uh, for example, if I take this and we go here, it increases my movement speed when at least two enemies are nearby and it keeps the drop quantity. So you want to check what your Pact Spirits can provide you with and use them this one would give me critical strike damage per element on enemy up to eight percent and so on so yeah this is how i choose my third pack spirit or you can choose one that increases the like uh, if you for example like doing a cube of rapacity you can choose the cube of rapacity um, pact spirit which increases the effectiveness of the mechanic and so on but these these two on the top like the cloud gutterer surging gold and happy chunky are my go-to pact spirits when i'm trying to farm some fe's in time mark 7 and onward maps so <clears throat> yeah I hope that I covered everything and with that said I will start my leveling journey in SS4 and I will see you in the next video bye